Hey guys, welcome back to Smoking Lid. I am Caesar with my good friend Robert. Tonight we're smoking the Undercrown Shade Suprema. All right, guys. So today we're gonna be smoking uh, another Drew Estate cigar. This cigar is a six by fifty-four. It is. This is considered to be a. Okay, well. I can't really see what kind of a perfecto. It's a perfecto. You can see the perfecto. It's got the little tip right here. It's kind of fat on this uh, here by the uh, foot, and it goes down a little bit closer to the to the cap. And it it is triple capped, mm -hmm. and it's really nice, very light color. It's got a very beautiful label on there of. Uh, of a lion, I guess it, is that a lion? Lion, right? It's a lion mm -hmm. with a crown in the bottom. It says Suprema in the uh, in the second band. Third band says Shade. Now this here it is a Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. The binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra. The filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan. Um, it is limited edition under Crown Shade. So. You will find these in a box of five, and then I think the price goes between around nine dollars and thirty cents, or nine dollars and fifty cents as singles. Uh, you can find a box of them for forty-five bucks. Comes with a box of five. I think I just said that. Uh, the Suprema shares. I'm getting this information from website. Uh, I think it's Fox Cigars. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It says. Uh, the Suprema shares the same tobacco blend as the regular production under Crown Shade line. However, due to its unique shape, Drew Estate, Drew Estate says the Perfecto, Perfecto delivers a bolder smoking profile compared to the core line. So, I guess we'll have to find out and see, right? So, let's go ahead and cut a light and not waste too much time doing this. I'm doing my Zachary XO. Hopefully, I don't drop it. And I'm doing one of my favorite cutters. Besides the my other favorite cutter, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I'm doing this. Uh, ah, what is this called? The Cuban Crafters Perfect Cutter. I'll put this over here. Oh, I can't reach it. Okay, <laughs> that's somebody. <laughs> Lately, we've just been dropping cutters. <laughs> oh, it's a very light drop. <clears throat> It's very spongy. It's, it is. It's it very is. spongy. So it's not hard or, mm -hmm. uh, or you know, it's got no spots where it's, it's harder than other. It's very spongy. It's got light veins. Uh, oh. Seams are pretty light. Um, so it's not tight. And it's got a very light draw. I ran out of fuel on that one. Sucks. Now on these... You can actually try to uh, light up the tip and just just the just the tip, just the tip. That's what I'm doing. Just the tip. And then just kind of go with it from there. You can do that, or you can just go ahead and try to light, or you can get your cutter and cut right there in the tip and light it like that. Whatever you prefer. I usually just do it like this and let it burn. Yeah, I do this well. My goodness, this is so it's so the draw is so loose that I feel like every time I suck on it, I can either hear it cracking or not cracking but like squeezing. See if you can catch that on, on the mic. You hear that? There's some ASMR. They're kind of <laughs> Well, right away, I'm getting like a like a a wheat slight uh, pepper spice. I need to take this band off. <laughs> forgot to take it off. <laughs> I forgot to take mine off too. <laughs> it came right off. But yeah, I'm getting, getting like a wheat with a slight like pepper, especially through the retro. You got some heat. Yeah, I got a lot of heat in the retro. I'm getting a lot of the the um, the hay notes 
the barnyard barnyard notes. That's what I'm getting. It's got like a like a vanilla. So I'm getting like the wheat with the vanilla taste. <clears throat> Take this band off real quick. So it don't burn. Yeah, just I'm getting a lot of heat, a lot, a lot of peppers uh, through the retro hell. Yeah, I'm getting some on, on my tongue and on my sides, on the side of my tongue, but a lot of that uh, barn barnyard notes. That's mm -hmm. what I'm getting. So that's like, <clears throat> that's all I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that the wheat for me, the wheat is the main component with a slight hint of vanilla. I feel like I gotta, gotta, I have to puff it like twice, pretty hard to get some type of smoke out of it. Really, I'm very. But anyways, uh, guys, it's just the beginning. We'll be right back at the first half and give you more about this cigar. Okay, guys, here at the first half, or a little bit past the first half, because this thing's burning like crazy, and burning kind of wonky a little bit. Hopefully, it fixes itself because I ain't fixing it. Yeah, if it gets bad, it gets bad. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try my best, not like my whole pet peeve of fixing it. I'm, I'm gonna try not to do it. Yeah, it's got yeah. a very light draw. It's so light that I'm afraid to puff it too hard and I end up inhaling it. Yeah. Basically, man, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I'm getting. And you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, I, one of the reasons I kind of don't like these Perfecto cigars. Cause what does that look like to you? Well, I'm not getting on the subject again. <laughs> we did this last video. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, I got from this. I'm still getting the heat through the retro. <laughs> Man, honestly, I, I'm a taste I'm getting is manure, fresh cow dung. Mm. That is what I'm tasting with hay. Tasty. I'm getting, well, it's very light. I, I honestly think that this cigar would go great just because of the way it is right now. I think I read it said medium to full, mm -hmm. which I don't think it's medium to full. I think it's more like a medium with a lot of spice on the retro oil. It's very light. Not a lot of flavors going through. It's more like uh, just barnyard. Um, it lightened it down a little bit because I, I mixed it with... Well, I paired it with a, a, a good friend of ours, which you guys seen on the channel, JJ Cruz. He sponsored another drink called the Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey from Japan. So, uh, I'm mixing it with some cherry cola, which I shouldn't be doing cherry cola in the first place. But I don't know why this thing, cherry cola. this thing, is still not giving me any flavors. It's just just the barnyard, um, a little bit of the creaminess. Um, and it smoothed it down a little bit, but honestly, I think it would go a lot better with a coffee drink. You think so? Yeah. And I, I've smoked the original, like a, 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 a like a Toro size Undercrown, uh, undercrown yeah. and I think that one's better than this. I will have to agree with you on that. I do think that the Nika uh, whiskey makes this better. Makes it better, yes, because it was not that good <clears throat> without the drink. But all it does is just makes it a little bit smoother and creamier. It helps it. Yeah, I'm, man, I don't know. Get that caca taste. I don't get that. And in the retro, I still get that heat and a little bit of the spice. Um, try it. No spice in the tongue and the mouth anymore. Just in the retro hell. And... Um, I still get that barnyard. That's all I'm getting right now. With creaminess. Uh, see, I even just tried burgeon it and it's still. I don't know. It's like you just walked in, you know, I don't know, like a. I guess you can say rodeo or petting zoo or something. <laughs> and that aroma that you get from all the shat. All the manure. That's what I'm tasting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would 
I, the I, smell I love, is I love good, the smell. I love that. I don't know why, but I don't like it from a cigar. I mean, I I love being around <clears throat> that stuff, like the smell of just cattle manure. I love all that, man. I don't know, but I don't think it'll taste good on the cigar. <laughs> no, it's it's weird. It, yeah. It's definitely weird. I'm not getting that, but whatever. Such Trust me, I wish I wasn't either. <laughs> Anyway, we'll be back at the half. We're almost at the half. It's, I'm saying it's burning really fast, so we might cut, wait a couple minutes, and come right back. See in a little bit. What's up, guys? Back at the half. And very interesting so far. We are going to take off that third label or second label, whatever you want. Not third label, the second, second. label. Yeah, second label. Now, <clears throat> I'll be the first to say it's completely changed on me. I don't have that manure taste anymore. I have purged it a couple more times off camera, and man, it's it's completely changed. I'm tasting coffee and caramel. Still getting that heat to the retro, and literally that's it. That the the heat's very strong in the retro though. I'm getting, um, I got a lot of the caramel for a little bit. It comes in and out now. It's gotten a lot better, um, surprisingly. It's, it's changed a lot. I, I was getting uh, pencil shavings at first before I got the caramel, then it transitioned to caramel. I retroheld, I retroheld like really good and uh, it burnt my nose hairs somehow. And I, I felt like I tasted uh, uh, a Vicks Vapor up for a little while <laughs> and then it went away um but i'm still getting a little bit of that caramel it's real creamy it, the cigar did get better though mm -hmm. because i was I, kind I, of disappointed I, in the in the first half i was too so yeah. now at the half it's, it's gotten better um the only thing it is burning pretty fast still uh, i haven't touched it up it fixed itself but, yeah, pretty nice burn on mine mm -hmm. It's got that real pretty eyeliner. Mm -hmm. What they call it? eyeliner? Eyeliner, yeah. Eyeliner black. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, <sighs> it's all right. It's good. I still had to say the other ones are better. The the other underground that mm -hmm. I've had. It is better. The other one is better. But honestly, this cigar, I, I know it would taste a lot better with the coffee. Like a, you know what it tastes good with a, a nice iced coffee. I don't like iced coffee, man. I, ice, like, I don't know. It's weird. I, I like my coffee hot and dark. I like uh, hot coffee and dark coffee too, but there's times I like to drink a little bit of that iced coffee. With your pumpkin spice latte? No, I hate pumpkin spice anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Nah. <clears throat> but. No. Mm. And it, it's. I don't know. It's gotten beautiful ash, though. That still reminds me of something. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh man. Right, right. Nah. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we'll be back at the second half. But don't forget, I believe you can still find these, but you'll find other cigars at Little Cigar Box. Go down to www.littlecigarbox.com. Use promo code SNL10. Get yourself 10% discount on anything on that website. Just purchase 20 bucks or more on there. And don't forget to use that promo code. Check it out. But we'll be back at the second half. Oh, man. You okay? Oh. What happened? <clears throat> it shot straight to the... <clears throat> it went right oh. to the throat and just shot in there. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> you got problems. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, back at the second half. Band is coming off. That last band, if it wants to come off, there we go. Notes, man. What you got? I'm I'm getting the same thing. The coffee with the caramel. Um, it's like I said before. It's it's totally changed for me. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's totally changed on me. I do like the other, uh, like the other undercrowns. This one's kind of falls, you know, for me, falls down the ladder. But at least I'm not getting that manure. Yeah. Uh, I got more of the, it, it switched to um, the nuttiness, like a creamy nuttiness. And, um, Got I got a little bit of that roastedness on also on there. Not not much. It's mainly just nutty. Um, but it did get a lot better. It got a lot better. Um, still, I think I don't know. I, I like I like the regular one, the regular Undercrown shade. Um, if I was to recommend somebody uh, uh, an Undercrown. That's Connecticut. It would be just a regular underground shade. I wouldn't even tell them to pick this up, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, so if you don't find this one, don't be disappointed. Just grab the other one. I mean, it, it it's basically the second half of this throughout the whole cigar, or something much, like that. Yeah. It's just better. I mean, it's the same blend, just a different vitola. So it's up to you guys. I mean, if you get, if you can find one of these, just because it's a limited edition and you want to pick it up, pick it up. It's worth a try. It's just worth a try. Give it a try. You can, you can say, yeah, I smoked it. You can be one of those guys that <clears throat> I smoked it. Yeah. You know. I mean, give it a try and let us know what you think. Which one you like better? Like, I mean, because it's like I said. I mean, we're giving you our opinion. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, my opinion. I, I it, this one just falls down the ladder for me. Yeah. It's just not there. And I was really close to get, you know, asking you, hey, let's let's compare it, let's grab <clears throat> both cigars and smoke them back to back. Mm -hmm. But it's the same blend, so I was just like, eh, it might be the same thing. Um, no, it's not, <clears throat> but it almost is. Yeah, it's the same thing as far as tobacco, but the notes, I mean, it's it's different in the beginning on this one. Yeah. See, I'm getting a slight bitterness right now. Oh, I mean, are you jinxing my cigar now? I don't have no bitterness. I just got that roasted peanut. It's, it's, it's very slight. I can feel it. Or, not feel it. I can taste it. Yeah. It's, <clears> mine <throat> is just straight up roasted peanuts. It just, I like that, so... Let's go ahead and finish this off, and we'll be coming back to you guys at the end and give us, uh, give you guys our final results on the cigar. Hey guys, we're back at here at the end, and um, I think I'm gonna put this cigar down. I'm getting heat on my, um, hitting my my tongue. It's getting too hot. Um, I did get, uh, still getting the 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 nuttiness, the roasted peanuts. Um, mainly that was all I was getting and then it turned off on me by itself and when it did I relit it and it gave me the notes of um, uh, corn tortillas like when they're like not all the way cooked <laughs> you know what I mean and you take a bite out of the tortilla and you're just like mm, it's not all the way cooked well that's the note that I got mm. and after a while it, it just got real nasty and bitter Glad it, it was kind of towards the end, and then it got real hot. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that's the end for me on that one. For me, uh, like like I said, I had the bitterness. It did end up going away, 
and it continued the coffee with the caramel but it's back at the bitterness yeah. and it's back like you said it's getting hot it is getting hot on my lips like in the back of my throat yeah and it's just i don't know man it's i think it's done d-u-n-n -N, done done another note guys if you are a a newbie a rookie smoker just because you see that it's a light um wrapper doesn't mean it won't kick you in mm. the butt it might not to be honest with you, it might not but don't retro hell mm. like a pro take it slow because it will burn your nose because oh. it's very hot i've seen some dark I, I burnt myself twice just doing it and i was like oh crap and i mm. i retro hell all the time so i'm used to it so that one was just like oh shoot i need to slow it down I've seen some dark wrappers that are the smoothest. Yeah. No no heat, nothing. The smoothest as possible. So, you know, color of the wrapper really doesn't. It don't matter. Doesn't just, uh, it doesn't, you know, justify the cigar. Yeah, and I'm pretty <clears throat> sure if you guys watch YouTube uh, cigar reviews, you guys know that. Uh, if you smoke, you guys know that. That the color of the, the wrapper doesn't really matter. Uh, I've had other cigars that are, like you said, dark, black. And smooth, no spice or nothing. This one does have that retro spice, and real, real, real strong. Um, but if I was to recommend this with the other Undercrown Shade, I would pick the oh, regular Undercrown Shade, hands down. Absolutely. And um, will I buy the cigar again? No. I almost say I I'll just get the regular Undercrown shape and it's not saying that this cigar is bad because it's not bad it just didn't mm -hmm. taste that good in the beginning it took all the way to the half to taste a lot better uh and then towards the end of course it didn't give me bitter it, it gave me bitterness but a lot of cigars do that so um it, it that doesn't bother me but just starting off that way i was just kind of like ah mm. yeah for me that the manure straight from you know it just it ruined it for me it was nice that it swapped up, but man, it was, you know, mm -hmm. from starting out a cigar, you know, at, f at first I got that, you know, the, I think it was the wheat or whatever it was. And then it just transitioned to that manure. It just made it a bummer. Yeah. But hey, man, if you guys see at the store, like I said, if you want to try it, pick it up. It is something that's limited. So if you want to try it out yourself, go ahead and pick it up. Um, you can find it on that website. Uh, like I said, little cigar box. Uh, there's always a link below on, on all my channel. I mean, all my uh, videos for that place. Pick yourself one up from there if you want. Uh, but anyways, guys, don't forget to to like, share, and subscribe this uh, to our channel. And uh, comment below. Let us know if you smoked this. What you think? If you also picked up the same notes, and uh, give us some recommendations. What you guys would like for us to to smoke next. Mm -hmm. um, because we like to hear that from you guys. And if we can find that cigar, if we have that cigar, we'll do it. If not, then we'll just continue with our picking up our own. But thanks for watching. And like I always say, enjoy your freedom with a cigar in your mouth and a gun in your hand. God bless you and your family. And God bless America.